Hey, hello and welcome to a new video. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and by clicking on this video, you're taking a first important step to bleach your hair correctly and not turning to one of these hair fells that I see so many times on YouTube. So I decided to make a video how to bleach your hair correctly. It's very difficult to bleach your hair correctly. It's not something that you can put on, leave it for 60 minutes or even two hours that I hear sometimes uh, and instantly you have white hair or gray hair or I don't know what hair. Uh, most of the time you have dead hair. Let me explain to you how bleach works because this is very important, not just how to apply it, but you have to understand how bleach works. I try to explain it as easy as possible, but coloring and bleaching is very difficult. Uh, we go to school for many years. We have many years of experience for myself. I have 26 years already in my salon. I learned a lot by doing it because every everybody is different because every hair is difficult and you have every time a different result. So you have to be careful what you wish for. Not everything is possible. I can tell you right now, not everything is possible and you have to check it regularly. So take a piece of paper, something to write on, because there is a lot of theory uh, that I'm trying to explain, and I will show you with a mannequin uh, how to apply it correctly. And I will try to explain to you how to bleach your hair in a correct way, and how to avoid these hair fails or even breakage. So before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on TikTok. I will explain more about bleaching, a little theory. I hope it's not boring, I will make it as short as possible, but you cannot apply it without knowing what bleach does and how to avoid the mistakes. So the first mistake I see a lot is that you cannot uh, go blonde, with box dye on colored hair. If your hair is colored with another box dye or colored from the hairdresser, it doesn't matter. You cannot take a box dye and expect that it will be blonde because colored pigments are different than natural pigments. Bleaching is melting the pigments. The more pigments there are melted, the wider your hair is. But colored pigments, cosmetic pigments, they cannot be melted. They are changing color. So they are transforming in another color. So if you want to go to red or copper or, uh, or whatever color or darker, these pigments are changing. But you cannot change them without bleach. You have to take them out with bleach, with box dye. It's not possible. On virgin hair, uh, you can go to blonde with box dye, but I will not recommend it because you will have yellow hair. It's possible if you have really light blonde hair and you will turn it to another blonde color, then it's possible. If you want gray color or platinum blonde, it's not possible with box dye. If you want to color your roots, then I recommend that you use a lightning cream that's more gentle for your scalp. If you want to color your lengths, then you can use powder but powder bleach is more aggressive for your scalp. So if you just going to do the roots, I recommend a cream bleach. The first mistake I see many, many times is that they are using bleach, if it's cream or powder, I don't care, like shampoo. They rub it in and they, they, it's like washing their hair. That is not working. First of all, you are aggressively touching your scalp, it will hurt and bleach hurts. And the appliance has to be very careful, otherwise breakage will happen. But before we start with uh, applying, I will explain to you the different volumes. You have 10, 20, 30, 40, even you have three or seven volumes or toner volume. So these are all different steps. If you are using 10 volumes, that's because you wanna go on the same level of your own hair or you want to change your level to a red or a copper slightly, not very much, and darker. So 10 volumes with bleach, it doesn't do nothing. Then you have 20 volumes. If you use 20 volumes, you will go 
uh, one or two tones lighter and you will have better coverage. If you want a grey coverage with color, uh, then you can use 20 volume. But I will go in details in another video. This video is just for bleaching. Coloring your hair is another video, otherwise you will mix up all this information and I want you to have the right information for bleach. So bleach with 20 volumes, maybe the regrowth if you are not that dark. 30 volumes is one of my favorites. I have like 20 bottles of 30 volume in my salon and I have one with 40 volumes. 30 volumes you can lift up to uh, 3 or 4 levels. But that's nearly enough. You can do a lot with 30 volumes. You can leave it a little longer. Uh, you can color it twice, I will explain that later. Um, but 30 volumes is the safest way to bleach your hair without killing your scalp or killing your hair. 40 volumes is going, is lifting up to 5 levels, but it's really fast and it works really hard on your hair. And the most of the time, if you use 40 volumes, it's like really quickly dead your hair. I don't recommend it. I use more 30 volumes in my salon. It's safer but you have to wait a longer time to achieve your goal. But let that be my next tip. If you have like one hour or two hours before you wanna go to work or a party or whatever, don't bleach your hair. Take your time to bleach your hair. I've seen many hair fails because they said, in two hours I have to work so quickly 40 volumes and it is a disaster. Don't do it in a rush. Take your time. So every color in your hair has an underlying pigment. What is an underlying pigment? So you know all the colors. So you go from black, dark brown, middle brown, light brown, dark blonde, middle blonde, light blonde, very light blonde, platinum blonde. So from one to 10. But every color is built with an underlying pigment. So if you have a medium brown, the underlying pigment is red, so dark blonde is orange gold. So this is the colors that you will see if you are bleaching your hair. And you will understand why your hair is orange. So the darker you are, you will see all these underlying pigments, all these underlying colors before you go to blonde. It's not that you will go uh, from medium brown you will leave it for 30 minutes and you have light brown. You will have orange. So there is no light brown if you melting the pigments. Pigments are built in your hair and the most, the yellow ones are the closest to the core of your hair. So these are the last one that they have to be melted. The more white you are, the less pigments that you have in your hair. But also said, the less pigments you have, the less protein you have, the less moisture you have. It's an empty tube, so we have to be careful with that. If you know what these underlying pigments are, then I have to say, don't bleach it too far. What do I mean with that? For example, you wanna get an eight. So if you wanna see an eight with a toner, don't platinum, but eight, don't bleach it to a 10. You can see that with taking all the bleach out and looking at the pigment that you see. If you see orange, then you are not at a, at a light blonde, then you are with a middle blonde or so even dark blonde. But if you see a light yellow, then it's already too far. Two things will happen. If you go too far, you will damage your hair unnecessarily and your toner, your color that you put after your bleach will not last as long. So it will fade out because it's too white. So don't go too far. Focus on your goal. What do you want to achieve? Look at these pigments and then you will know at what level you are. Just know if you rinse it out, it will be more yellow or more orange than it will show on the, on the bleach. It's always like that. If you wash it out, it's more yellow. The same thing if you are dark brown and you want a red on your hair. If you put a red on dark brown, you will see nothing. If it's virgin hair, then you can color red with 30 volumes, then you have a very nice red, not on the roots. Don't color your 30 volumes on the roots, otherwise it will be too, too red, too, or too, too pink maybe. Take the 30 volumes on the length, and then maybe 10 volumes on the roots, then you have a little darker roots and flashy 
lengths. But that's something else. I will discuss to you about bleach. Coloring is for another video, but I was caught up in the moment. Uh, but this is the point that I'm trying to say. Don't bleach too far. Focus on your goal. And that is also my next tip, is if you are dark brown or even black, you cannot, you cannot go to platinum blonde in one session. It's impossible. Maybe a hairdresser can do that if they are very careful and he will be there like six hours in the salon and he will pay a lot of money because it takes time. To do it at home, it's not possible in one section without killing your hair. You will do it in two or maybe three times. So I will explain to you that I'm using 30 volumes more often than 40 volumes. And that's because you have to know, you have to understand how bleach works. If you want to lift six levels, the first 30 minutes, you will lift four levels. The next 30 minutes, you will lift two levels. So the strongest of your bleach is the first 30 minutes. So what does that mean? So you leave it for 30 minutes longer, you will wasting your time, you will hurting yourself. So it's better to use a lightning cream, it's softer for your scalp, less volume, 30 minutes, rinse it off, gently rinse it off. I will explain that later in the video. So 30 minutes, rinse it off, and then again, bleach it for 30 minutes. Then you will lift up more, then you will kill more underlying pigments, you will melt down more pigments in these two 30 minutes than in one 60 minute. So two times 30 minutes is better, but not with 40 volumes. Please, please do not two times 30 minutes with 40 volumes. I'm not responsible, your hair will fall off. You will look like me, don't do it. So on, uh, on virgin hair, uh, you will do first the length and the last part you will do the regrowth because your head is giving warmth and the bleach on the scalp will process faster than on the length. So always start the length. I know it's difficult and my, my next tip is also ask somebody to help. If you have to do it by yourself, it's so difficult to do it correctly by yourself. Ask some help. How many times the length and how many times the regrowth? It depends on the level that you want to reach. So you will test, you will see, and if you are very close to your color that you want, then you apply the regrowth. Your regrowth will bleach very fast. You don't have to worry about that. It's always the lengths that are the main problem. On colored hair, that's the same thing. First, apply it on the lengths. Don't color your roots if your lengths are not on the right color that you want. So if you have like a red or a pink or uh, a dark brown or I don't care what color is your length, first bleach your lengths. If your lengths are good, then you can apply the regrowth because that's virgin hair most of the time and it will process faster. It doesn't matter, never, never, it doesn't matter that your regrowth is darker than the length. The opposite, the length, the, the regrowth cannot be lighter than the length. It's so ugly. I see it so many times. Roots has to be darker. It's always more beautiful. The red has to be darker red. The copper has to be darker copper. The blonde can be a little bit of shadow. It's always more beautiful. So first, bleach your lengths. Bleach it twice, I don't care, uh, with less volume, remember. So if you have the desired color, then color your regrowth. And then you will have a nice result. But if you want to color your regrowth, don't go over your lengths. I see many times, I will color my regrowth and like after five minutes, the bleach is on the lengths also because there is a little bit of yellow on the lengths. Don't do it. So if the lengths are good of the color, just do the regrowth. Your lengths are fine. You can do that with a toner afterwards. So if you are tired of the theory, I'm sorry, there's a little bit more that I have to say before you bleach it. But by clicking on this video, 
and by looking at me, still at this moment, you are patient and you have taken the first step to have a very good result. What do I see if I, uh, if I see some hair fails that, oh, it's hurting, it's hurting, it's hurting. Yes, bleach is more painful than normal color. That's, that's normal because you take a higher volume. But if you are killing yourself with pain, it's, it's not okay. But if it's hurting, it has to mean that you will wash it just previous to the bleach. If you want to bleach your hair, wait a few days, maybe a week, so your scalp is putting a sebum layer on your scalp and it will protect from bleach. Of course, if, it's, if your hair is very easy, uh, greasy, then you can wait like two days. But if you wash it the same day or the day before your bleach, it will hurt. I can tell you, it will hurt. Don't do it. Don't wash your hair. Another thing that I see many times, and I'm screaming uh, if I see that every time, is that they put coconut oil on their hair uh, to protect. So I know any oil, coconut oil, uh, many oils are good for your hair, but not previous to your bleach, because it will stop working. So if you put it on the lengths and you will bleach your lengths, the pigments will not melt because the product cannot go inside your hair. The coconut oil or any oil will put a layer around your hair and the bleach cannot penetrate enough. And if it's penetrating, it will be dilute it. There is one thing I have to say, you can put coconut oil on your hair to protect it if you do the regrowth. So you want to color your regrowth and you want to protect your hair, then you can do that. I see many times I put coconut oil and then I will do 40 volumes and it will not break off. Uh, wrong answer. So also don't put any wax or hairspray on your hair if you want to bleach your hair. Don't spray in the morning hairspray if you know if I'm coming home I will bleach my hair. Otherwise the wax or the hairspray will again stop the bleach. It will not work enough. It, it's a, some kind of layer on your hair then it will be more orange or yellow. So if you want to bleach your hair, don't put any products in your hair, just to make the right preparation. So the last tip before I will uh, take my mannequin uh, is to wear gloves. That's very important. It hurts on your hands. If you're using bleach, it will turn completely white and it's hurting. So don't do that to yourself and please, Read the directions of the lightning cream or the bleach. Every bleach or lightning cream is different with the mixing ratio. We can almost start with coloring and we will prepare our hair. Um, and I know many times I see how to bleach your hair or how to color your hair. It's divided in four sections. I have four sections is okay. But if you want to do it very correctly, you will have to take an extra section in the front. So, first of all, in the back, you will take two sections. If it's okay, if it's possible for you, the back sections, you can divide it in two. So you have here one section, here one section, then here and here. So you have here four sections. But if you want to do it in two sections, that's okay. But in the front, I will take, instead of a section in the middle and divide it in two sections. I will take one section in the middle because you have to bleach that last. Otherwise, if you color it here and there, there are some minutes different and you can have a different result this side or this side. In the salon, there's no problem because we work fast. But many times I see they talking and talking and talking and maybe to the camera, maybe to a friend, but this side is then maybe too long, this side is short in minutes. So we have two different results. And also what is very important, don't apply bleach on wet or damped hair. Apply it on dry hair. Because the more wet your hair is, the more the product will be diluted in your hair and it will not work as good. So you have to apply it on dry hair. I explained to you that it's very necessary that you work fast. 
So this is very important. Once you mixed it, then you have to apply it because one time you mixed it, it start working. You always start in the back. You always start here in the back because in the front, these areas are warmer. So these will process faster. And if you come to the crown area, to the top, then you will set a first timer. Then you can rinse it off because this will be longer than this. So you can rinse it off. This is why I explained to you if it's possible, then you divide it, these two sections in two, and then you color these two sections in the back and then these two sections in the back. If you want, you can put three uh, timers, but I'm very happy that you put two timers. But something I see very often is that the sections are too big. So they take big sections like this. This is too big. Yes, this is too big. If you take big sections, I will explain it to you. So you take, for example, the color, you will put it on and you put a lot of products. So this is, has to be very thick. So the thicker the product is applied, the better the result. But if you take thick sections and you will take it in the middle and will check it, then in the middle there is not enough product. Then you will have a patchy result. You want to take fine sections. If you take fine sections and you apply it correctly, then you will have an even result. Protect your uh, floor, otherwise if it's a wooden floor, it will stain. So protect your floor and take fine sections. Enough product. Don't save on the product. So take fine sections. So this is the correct thickness of your section and apply very thick. If you have a brush, apply it with a brush. If you don't have a brush, then take it in your hands and apply it correctly. The more product, the better the result. Sometimes I see somebody taking this section like this, this section, they colored it, but in the middle, there will be no product and then you have a patchy result. This will then be your own hair, more orange than the top, it's normal. Fine sections and enough product. That's very, very, very important. So if you applied it all and you wait a time and you want to check it, then you can check it by taking all the product out and then see the color underneath. Then you will see this underlying pigment that I explained before. If it's not good, then apply the product back. Don't leave it like this. Those are, you take two fingers and you can pull the product away and then you can see the underlying pigment, so the color that you want. If it's not good, then apply it again. Otherwise, you will have a band of different color. It's really difficult to do it by yourself. You see it if you have to take fine sections, apply enough product and you have to do it by yourself and you have to work it fast. It's difficult. So ask somebody again, ask somebody to help. It's okay to put a bag on your head. I see it many times. If you put a bag on your head, then you will save all the heat that coming from your head and it will process faster. But if it dries out because it's too warm, if it dries out and it comes powder again, now it's a cream, it's a powder to start with. You mix it with developer, it's a cream. If, if it's turning again to a powder, then it stopped working. So you can leave it then for two days. It will do nothing. So if it's too warm and it turns again to a powder, it's like falling out your head it stopped working, so it's not good. So if you want to put a bag on your head, then you can take some spray, water spray, like for planting plants, uh, then you can spray it on and it's like steaming. But again, after 10 minutes, you have to check it and again, some water. Every 10 minutes, you have to spray some water on it. But every 10 minutes, you have to check 
on the strength of your hair. You have to pull it and see if it comes off. If you can still pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, and you know this is not good, you have to rinse it off. But you also have to check on the color. So this is very important. Every 10 minutes, you take the back off, you spray a little, and you check your hair, and you, you can put the back again on top of it. Remember in the beginning that I said, it's better, less volume, and 30 minutes, rinse it off. Again, less volume, 30 minutes. And also, if your hair is applied with the bleach, don't comb your hair. Sometimes I see they comb your hair. For two reasons, you cannot comb your hair. First of all, you're taking the bleach away from your hair. I said it, you have to apply it very thick. If you comb it, you will take away all the bleach of your hair and it will work less. On the other hand, when the bleach is on your hair, it's starting to melt your pigments, all your proteins and all your moisture outside your hair. So your hair is very fragile at that point. So don't comb it. And also a big thing, if you are coloring your hair, stay in the same temperature. Don't go outside in the winter. It's a different kind of temperature. In the summer, you go in the sun, it's not also good. I see so many people put in a bag on the top of their head and then go in the sun because it's more heat. It's really quickly damaging your hair. So stay in the right temperature, in the same temperature as you applied it and don't go outside. It's time to rinse it off. Watch out for your eyes. And also if you apply it, sometimes the color is very close to the eyes and maybe that's maybe a good point to say, don't bleach your eyebrows. I don't understand it and it's very dangerous, but that's another thing. I said it in many hair fails, but it comes to, it pops in my head. If you rinse it out, watch your eyes. Bleach is a very powerful product. If it goes into your eyes, if you're lucky, it's just hurting, but you can have permanent damage in your eyes. So watch your eyes. If it's possible, sit in the bathtub and lay your head behind you. It's like putting it back, like in the salon. Don't use too cold water or too hot water. Too cold water can be very nice if it's itching and you have cold water. It's like, ah, oh, it's so nice to have rinse it off this bleach. It's not good. Too warm, it's also not good. Your pores of your scalp will open or close too fast if you uh, rinse it off with too cold or too warm water and you will have uh, a reaction on your scalp. So take the right temperature, not too cold or not too warm to rinse off your uh, bleach. So if you rinse it off, also the same thing as applying with the bleach, be gentle with your scalp. Your scalp is hurting. Be gentle. It will take longer, yes, I know, but afterwards you will be more happy. And it's time for toner. And you say to me, do I need a toner? Yes. Bleach without toner is ugly. Always. You have to use the right toner. A toner, that has to be just the right one to achieve. If you want an eight, and you saw the underlying pigment is very warm, then the eight will cool down the yellowness and you will have a, a very nice light blonde. If you want gray color, so every time they see gray, if you want a gray color, you cannot have any yellow or orange in your hair anymore. The more yellow in your hair, the less gray the toner will be. If it's orange, the toner will not work. A toner is not a magical product. It's not something that you put it on and all magically, all the orange and all the yellowness is gone. Or the patchiness, or the different shades, or this is lighter and this is orange, and the toner will even it out. No. Also, you cannot lighten more with bleach. It's not possible if you are having an orange result that you put the toner on top of it and it will be more blonde. It's not possible. Toner, the name says itself, it's toning your level. If you are on the level eight, you can tone it on the level eight, not a 10. But toner can be used maximum, maximum with 10 volumes. 
Sometimes you have developers, especially for the toner, that's even better. That's less than 10 volumes. That's three or seven volumes. So this is better. If you have a product with a special toner, special developer, mix it together, buy the two together. This is very good. Don't use 20 or I see 30 volumes with toner. Your scalp is stressed. It's hurting from the bleach. And if you use 20 or 30 volumes with toner, it will hurt like hell your scalp will be on fire. So don't do it. It's very dangerous. You can have an allergic reaction. You can damage your scalp very much. And I will, I will tell you, you will cry. So don't do that. And also, if you don't have the 10 volume or less than 10 volumes, and you say you have 20 volumes or 30 volumes, don't mix it with water. Don't dilute it. It's not the, the same level. You cannot dilute the 20 or 30 volumes. That's very important. So use the 10 volumes or less. So, and my last tip and a very important one that I see so many times on these hair fail compilations and these hair fail videos is purple shampoo is not a toner. I will, I will say it again. Purple shampoo is not a toner. I see it so many times it's orange and I will use purple shampoo and they think it's like, I don't know, more magic than toner and magically all the orange pigments will be faded out. If it was that easy, I will not have any problems in my salon because bleaching is the most difficult thing in our salon. Purple shampoo is not a toner. Let's repeat, let's repeat together. Purple shampoo is not a toner. Okay, I hope everybody gets that. I'm afraid of not because not everybody is going to watch this video. You have watched this video and I'm very happy that you watched this video because that's the first step to have a very nice color. So I'm very happy that you clicked on this video. What you can also do is subscribing to my channel, pressing that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on TikTok. I wish you the very best with the bleaching project that you have. I hope the result will be good. Put it in this comments here or in another video that your result was good or bad. Ask your question, I will try to answer it. Uh, if you have any questions about bleaching or it was not clear what I said, so ask your question in the comments. I will happy uh, to respond to it. And I hope that your result will be good uh, and this video will make you happy. All I'm going to say today is ciao kiss.